We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to set up a storage device. So let's go ahead and click on the Storage tab. And then from here, click on Configure Storage. Now we're just using a disk-based storage, but there's other options such as Network Storage, Tape Storage, or Storage Pools. So I'll click on our disk-based storage and click Next. And we can either import a legacy backup to disk folder for moving a backup from another source, or we can choose disk storage for a new one. Click Next. And from here, we can give our storage a name. We're just going to go ahead with the default. Next. And then here, it's going to ask for a local disk or a network share. So if you want to back this up to another location, you could do that, or you could choose a local disk. We'll choose the local one. Next. And here's a real important thing that you may want to change is how many concurrent write operations. This is how many jobs it can run at the same time. The default too might be a little bit light. So if you've got a lot of backup jobs, you may want to go uh, to something like three, four, or five. I wouldn't go more than 10 though, unless you have uh, a very large array that you're backing up to because it may not be able to handle it. And click next and finish. Now we should see a second storage device, which we do. Click okay and our disk storage one and two is now showing up.